The project name is uh, Strengthening Linkages Between Small Actors and Buyers in the Root and Tuba Sector in Africa. The project is being implemented in seven countries in Africa, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana, Benin, Cameroon, Malawi, Rwanda and Uganda. In terms of commodity, we are talking about root and tubers. In uh, five countries we are dealing with uh, cassava, that means uh, uh, Ghana, Côte d'Ivoire, Benin, Cameroon and Malawi we are dealing with cassava. Rwanda and Uganda we are dealing with Irish potato. In Benin, in addition to cassava, we are also dealing with uh, yam. That's making it uh, three commodities for the seven countries for seven, uh, four years period and for a budget of five million euro. Thanks to the European Union that is founding this project in this uh, root and tuber project in Africa. The workshop has uh, which targets, uh, which uh, targets at the uh, uh, link, uh, strengthening linkages between farmers and markets, who actually have great impact in the project we are uh, executing in Nigeria. Uh, uh, true as it's, it's strategic, linking farmers to the market, so which is what the farmers need to increase their livelihood and better their, and make their income better. So when the farmers are strategically linked to the market now, there is an uh, outlet for their uh, for their. Uh, 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 produce, so they tend to, uh, to to produce more. So far, there is a uh, strategic linkage between the farmers and the market, which is the business of it. So, where well, there is bis the business is strengthened through these linkages, then there will be increase in production. And uh, when there is increase in production, now there will be uh, increase in their income. So, by extension, their livelihood will be developed. Crop research decided to then go into its own or breeding program to look at the cassava materials that we have in Ghana. So we did germplasm collection. We collected cassava local materials from across the country and then we also took some materials from our sister institute, PGRRI, where they have the mandate to sort of collect and conserve um, germplasm. So together we collected over 250 cassava germplasm, brought them to Crop Research Institute and then evaluated them to see which ones farmers will like and then those ones that are not very, very uh, uh, susceptible to the African cassava mosaic because that is the most uh, predominant disease that we had for cassava. So based on that, we realized that the market was good for poundability, but then some industries were also coming up. So we decided to look at how we can get varieties, improve varieties that are high yielding, that are poundable, that we can also process for other products because the industry was growing. Here you see the researchers involved, the farmers, taking into consideration their culture and branding and giving the names of the varieties along the lines of how the people themselves take it, which is very easy for penetration. This is some of the problems we have between research for development and just ordinary research. Here you could see research for development because it was inclusive. The farmers' interests were taken into consideration. They were part of it. And like the development of those six varieties that were even given along the names of the, the regions, which names are properly appropriated by the farmers, it is an easy way for this research uh, product to penetrate and get to the farmers because they are part of it. They can identify themselves as part of it. This is a take home. This is happening, incidentally, happens to be one of the first invention, patented invention in the Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology, and it is for root and tubers, cassava. We develop it for cassava, but then it is also very, very useful for harvesting yam, provided it is planted on ridges. And the cassava too, we are actually, actually, uh, you know, developing the protocol that it to be it should be planted on ridges so as to satisfy a lot of the, you know, sustainable development goals like, um, you know, hunger elimination, poverty, climate uh, resilience, and then even entrepreneurship, because uh, the innovation that we have seen, cassava is a crop that grows. 
I mean, all over Africa, and it's a climate smart crop with the new awareness about the industrial potential of cassava. This innovation is coming at the right time to, you know, unlock the huge potential of cassava as an industrial crop in Africa, and also as a food security crop because cassava generally is a food for over 800 million people globally, and in Africa, it is in the sub-Saharan Africa, it is the food that people eat every day. But now we want to go beyond the food security. Uh, contribution of cassava and then uh, work on the industrial potential and that is where we are focusing on. The youth are being encouraged to take up agriculture and then we focus on cassava because one, uh, you know agriculture in our part of the world is full of drudgery. If I want to say agriculture is full of drudgery, what do we mean? What we are just saying is that if you use uh, manual tools like the hoe and the cutlass to do agriculture, it is so painful. In fact, if we are able to uh, inject some engineering technology, appropriate ones, it will be attractive to the youth. And this harvester is one. Now, uh, I look at uh, the donor community, especially the Food and Agriculture Organization, as the technical wing of the United Nations body that is responsible for agriculture to see some, you know, positive, uh, you know, attributes of this technology so that we can collaborate to, you know, push it, disseminate it globally, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa. I decided to venture into agriculture. So currently I'm offering machinery in the Department of Agricultural Engineering. On the farm here, we have several varieties of cassava, close to 21 varieties. We have really seen good results from the research that uh, are trying to respond to the market needs. And uh, I can say that in terms of productivity, quality, requirements, the research has done a lot and we have seen also part of the beneficiaries have confirmed that there, there's no complaint about availability of improved quality seed related to cassava sector. And this is really what is important that we have varieties that are responding to the need of the consumer, to the need of the market that will create the demand and promote more production and more revenue for the actors.